Forty years I grieved with them, my people gone astray. In my anger swore to them, my rest they shall not enter. Good afternoon, welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is evening prayer for Friday, Jan uh, February the 1st, and the scripture for this service, Psalm 51, and Mark chapter 6, verse 47 to 56. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to your loving kindness. Alleluia. Psalm 51. Alleluia. Have mercy to me, O God, according to your loving kindness. According to the multitude of your tender mercies, blot out all my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you only have I sinned and done evil in your sight, that you might be justified when you speak and be upright when you judge. Behold, I was shaped in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, you desire truth in my inmost parts, and in the secret part you shall make me know wisdom. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear joy and gladness, that the bones which you have broken may rejoice. Hide your face from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me with your free spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways, and sinners shall be converted to you. Deliver me from death, O God, of my salvation. My tongue shall sing aloud of your righteousness. Open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For you do not desire sacrifice, else I would give it. You delight not in burnt offerings. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O God, you will not despise. Do good to your good pleasure into Zion and rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to your loving kindness. Alleluia. The lesson is from the Holy Gospel according to Mark, chapter 6, beginning at verse 47. Now when evening came, the boat was out on the sea, and Jesus was alone on the land. And when he saw that they were straining at the oars against an adverse wind, he came toward them early in the morning, walking on the sea. He intended to pass them by. But when they saw him walking on the sea, they thought it was a ghost, and they cried out, for they all saw him and were terrified. But immediately he spoke to them and said, Take heart, it is I. Do not be afraid. And then he got into the boat with them, and the wind ceased, and they were utterly astounded, for they did not understand about the loaves, but their hearts were hardened. And when they had crossed over, they came to land at Gennesaret, and they moored the boat. And when they got out of the boat, some people at once recognized him and rushed about that whole region and began to bring the sick on mats to wherever they heard he was. And wherever he went into villages, cities, or farms, 
they laid the sick in the marketplaces and begged him that they might touch even the fringe of his cloak. And all who were touched were healed. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions that this evening might be holy, good, and peaceful, that your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill, that we may be pardoned and forgiven our sins and offenses, that there may be peace in Jerusalem, unity in the church, and peace in the whole world, that we may depart this life in your faith and fear, and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. That we may be bound together by the Holy Spirit in the communion of Francis and Clare and all your saints, entrusting one another in all of our lives to Christ. And for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Forgive us, tender God, of all our sins and offenses, and restore to us the joy of your salvation. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.